Welcome back to Born to Explore. In this video, we're giving you an updated tour of our van. I'm Brandon. And I'm Maddie, and we're Born to Explore. So we've been on the road for three weeks now, and we think it's time to give you an updated tour of our van. So yeah, let's check it out. So the first thing you're gonna see here is our shoe rack, which I think you guys have seen before. Actually about a week ago, went through, got rid of a bunch of stuff. We ended up working super hard to clear out this bottom section here. We had a, just a bunch of crap shoved in there because shoes were a huge issue. We kept having shoes just laying all over the place. We were tripping over them, Troy was tripping over them. So right now we've got, I think three pairs of shoes down underneath here. And then on this side, we have all of our bottled water. Let's hop on in here. So up front has not changed very much. This is the dog gate that we use when we're driving. So we'll just kind of leave Troy's bed there, pull this out, and then we have two bungees. One bungees around the seat belt right there, and the other bungees around this screw. So this is actually held super secure and it's bungeed on that side as well. And then we have just our blackout curtain here. And then over in this area here, between my seat back and the start of our counter here. I have my drill and then we have a little folding table, but this is actually what we cook on. So we would be able to cook on the counter just fine. The only downside to that is the steam. So you can see we have these nice leatherette covered uh, area here and the steam just accumulates on that. And so what we do is we pull out that table we set it right underneath this vent fan here, and then it just sucks all the steam out. So we'll have that one pulling air out, our vent fan at the back bringing air in. So other than that, the front has not changed very much. So kind of working our way back here, we've got all of our go-to utensils, and then we have a few other utensils down underneath there, but these are just the ones that we grab super often. Our top drawer here is my stuff. So I've got my deodorant, my shaver, my razor, which you can tell I don't use, um, toothbrush, toothpaste, the middle drawer we have, um, some kind of like medicine cabinet stuff. So icy hot, Q-tips, things like that. And then Maddie has her beauty drawer down there that has her hair ties and all that stuff. This has been probably our greatest upgrade so far. <laughs> we did do a video on the hot plate that we've used to cook. That is pretty much only an option when we have full sun, full solar. You know, we're bringing in six, seven, eight amps of solar. And even then it puts a, a hard draw on our batteries. So we ended up investing in this. It's $18 and it works amazing. The little butane canisters last us five to seven days per canister and each canister is about $3 at Walmart. Definitely well worth the money. And for us, one burner works perfectly fine. Our sink. <laughs> we thought that it would be awesome to have a sink. We have not even pumped a single drop of water out of that in the three weeks that we've been gone. So we use it for storage. We've got our bread, our tortillas. Down underneath here on the left is our three gallon water tanks. This is our shower, which we've used once already and it worked amazing. It's a two gallon pump sprayer with the Osset attachment on there. So you just pump this up and you could go for a decent amount of time. It's two gallons and Maddie and I both were able to take a full shower. We'll do a full video on us using that, how we made it, how much it costs. And then we have Troy's food and extra treats stored underneath there. Our cleaning supplies and our butane. This cabinet here, we have a two drawer storage container. This top drawer here, we have some of the utensils that we don't use all the time. And then our glass storage containers. That's what we use for our plates and bowls. And then the bottom drawer here is kind of all of our dry food and snacks. We have some tuna packets, some pasta, some Ritz crackers, peanut butter, and then this left-hand side, we have Troy's food, which this is super nice. I think this is meant for cereal, but it just worked out perfectly. We give Troy uh, twice a day, he gets a scoop of this. Yeah, you can see he's excited. I'm sorry, bud, here you go. Sit, good boy. Okay. Uh, and we just scoop out of that and we refill this whenever it gets low, but this works out perfect. And it just fits in there like 
perfectly snug. And this is something we just did less than a week ago was remove the microwave. It was a huge waste of space. Once we got that out, we had so much space. So we just bought this storage container yesterday at Walmart. This is our use every day cooking stuff. Back behind there, we have our paper products, our coffee maker, which is the reason we just bought a kettle. We were using that, but again, it just puts a hard draw on our batteries. We had a huge issue with our batteries and I'll get there in a minute. We're not gonna use that. We're gonna do what we can to not put any draw on our batteries other than what's necessary, like the fans and the lights. So that's why we ended up investing in this. This was $5 at a Kroger. The filters, a uh, hundred filters was another five dollars and then this kettle i think was seven dollars all you do put the filter in the top there put this right on top of your coffee mug and pour the water over your coffee grinds and then it drips right down into your coffee mug so that's that and then our fridge and freezer so if you guys are curious what we have in there uh, we have some frozen vegetables uh our coffee we keep in the freezer all they can see is the Reese's. <laughs> <laughs> the after Easter discounted chocolate and then our rice. And then down in our fridge here, we've got our butter, coffee creamer, our Parmesan cheese. We've got uh, probiotics, eggs, uh, sauces, cheeses. This was another thing that we did too. We used to have cabinet doors here. When they opened, it would cut off this space completely. So I ended up taking those off so that we could kind of have a better use of this space and better access to this space. We installed these little buttons here. And then up on this top part, we've got our sleeping bag, which we've been using every single night on top of our comforter and then our towels for when we're taking showers and everything. And then this is a mess, but this is our, our catch-all closet. This is our trash can here. We just throw a grocery bag in there. We have a few gallons for cooking and stuff like that. And then, our porta potty. Some people would say they don't use their porta potty at all. They got rid of it. They gave it away. They didn't like it. For us, it has been a huge blessing, especially in the colder weather. If you wake up in the middle of the night and you have to go to the bathroom, or it's 10 p.m. and you got to go to the bathroom and the restroom is you know half a mile down the road, this thing is super nice that you could just hop right out of bed, use it when you have to, only when you have to, and then you know the only difficult part is dumping it and it hasn't been that bad so yeah that's that uh, i mean nothing special our friends uh that we met at our last campsite recommended this so thanks doug and holly we did pick one up at walmart and this is for cleaning off our solar panels we haven't had any issues with any of that stuff falling out when we're driving all right if i switch with maddie here so on this side down underneath here we have our sawzall we have a little dust buster vacuum. Uh, I have the charger for the Sawzall and then just some storage of some things that we don't really get to that often. And then in this cabinet here, we just have our, both of our camp chairs and then our little tent. Same old table here, so nice. This thing has been so nice, not a hassle at all. So we did end up getting a mattress. I think the most stressful thing for me in planning this whole trip was finding the right mattress. So if you guys remember back from our original Murphy bed video, our plan was to have a section of cushion permanent on this side and then part half here. We ended up not doing that. And the reason being, I was worried about cutting a mattress ourselves and then voiding the warranty on it if we had issues or didn't like it. So we ended up going with a five inch futon mattress from Amazon and it has a warranty. I don't remember what it is, but it's meant to fold up into one of those like couch beds. So it's meant to fold into third. Ended up being the perfect size for our space. So it's a short queen. I didn't want to cut it. So what we actually do when we go to set up the bed is we just grab these two things here, slide them onto the floor in this space here, and then unlatch the bed, fold it down, and then just scoot the mattress. And the mattress literally fits from this wall right here all the way across to the far side there. I'll fold down the bed in a minute so you guys can actually see that fully folded down and set up. So our clothes, so this is my section of clothes here and this is Maddie's. So these little bags here were given to us and we just used them to organize our clothes. My first bag is kind of like my undergarments and my t-shirts. This next bag is my shorts and then this bag is my pants and my long sleeve shirt. So what we did, instead of folding our clothes, we actually rolled them because the issue with folding your clothes in this instance would be you would have to pull everything out of this bag 
in order to get to the stuff on the bottom. What rolling them does is you can see everything that you need right here and you just grab, you know, whatever you need, a pair of shorts and my t-shirt and I'm good to go. You know, I just cinch this back up and I shove it back in there. Depending on how much space you guys have, if you're looking to, you know, build a van, I would definitely recommend getting some little storage bags like that and rolling your clothes. And then along this side here, we've got all of our books. We've got uh, some leftover books pushed over into this section here. We've got our camera bag in here, just some storage bins. So this is kind of like our miscellaneous stuff, like, you know, a deck of cards, Troy's stuff. And then we start getting into food here, all of our beans some ramen, pasta, our paper towel storage. Here we've got our miscellaneous cords and stuff, our medicine, and then just miscellaneous food. This is just a perfect spot for our fishing rods because it never gets in the way. I'm really excited. I really want to do some fishing on this trip. And then right behind Maddie here, we've got our camping, hiking storage. All that kind of stuff goes in this spot here. And then down underneath here, it's kind of the start of our garage type stuff. Leveling blocks, which we haven't used yet. Tow rope, we've got jumper cables. I've got this for changing my oil and our normal electrical system here. So this is where I'll talk about our batteries. The batteries that came with the van, we were told that they were deep cycle batteries. Turns out they were just starter batteries for like a larger truck, but they were meant for just starting batteries. So they didn't have, they didn't even have a rating of amp hours. It was just reserve capacity and they weren't meant to be drawn down as often and as much as we had been doing. We were struggling to keep our fridge and our fans running overnight. We would end up having to start our van multiple times a day and run it for a while. Yeah, we were really struggling to keep our batteries charged. It was not something we expected to spend money on. Definitely glad we did. We ended up getting our batteries at Sam's Club. So now we have a total of 210 amp hours. And then back here is our continued garage area. We've got Troy's stuff here. This is where we permanently keep his water bowl and his food bowl. He hears that sound and he automatically thinks he's getting food. Here we have the case that our butane stove came in where we have some spare butane tanks. That's my socket set and everything like that. Let me show you guys how we bring the bed down and uh, we'll end it there. That's a good boy. All right, kennel bud. Grab this stuff here. Set it down there. Pull the pin at the back here. Kennel bud. And then, drop this latch here. And that's our bed. So we actually do have our pillows and everything underneath the comforter here. So we just grab those out and we're good to go to sleep. It's definitely easier to put down than it is to put back up. I'll just show you guys how I would do it. Um, And that's that. So the hardest part is holding the pressure off of the bed and putting that final pin in. The nicest part is we can keep our sheets clean and then we have all this usable space here, which, you know, this is where we're normally hanging out. And it's a lot nicer for me, as opposed to having just a permanent bed in this area to be able to actually sit down on the couch, relax, have our table down, play some cards, 
watch a movie. I'm still happy with this. It didn't turn out exactly how we wanted, but it functions exactly how I expect. Yeah, so that's it guys, that's the van. So we hope you guys enjoyed this van tour video. Hope that you're able to take something away from it. If there's anything that you guys think we could do differently or improve upon, please let us know down in the comments. We appreciate all of your input. If you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed already, please click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. And remember that we're all born to explore. Did he just run out again? Yeah. Troy, hey, come here. Come. Oh my God. Boy. Okay, wait. Stop leaving the van. Wait. <laughs>